Hi, I'm Sonia from Vidya Guru starting a new session on current affairs. This session is in English medium. The session is in English medium. If you're not comfortable with the language, switch to the Hindi medium session that is there in the playlist. This session is in English medium and meant for the students who are in South India, who are in Northeast India. The session is of May 2020. So you are practically watching current affairs May 2020. This is the second part of current affairs. I'll start the session, but before starting, if you like the session, please press the like button for sure. Share the video with your friends and your cousins. If they are also taking, if they are also writing, you know, competitive exams. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of all the exam relevant videos which we upload. Watch till the end because at times what happens at the end when the revision is actually being done, when I'm actually making you revise all the things which I've taught, at times I forget initially and during the time of revision, I actually disclose something yeah, something else. That means I add up things at the time of revision also. So stay put, watch till the end. I'll start with the first question, the question which was there in news and you have been listening about it. Super cyclonic storm to hit West Bengal and Odisha. The name of that super cyclone is Amphan. So Amphan is the name which is going to hit West Bengal and Odisha. Let's start the, you know, with the second question now. Let's move to it. Geographical indication tags. See, the, this session where I'll be actually talking about indication, geographical indication tags, which are famous as GI tags majorly. So I'll be actually talking about them like that. Thanjavur, Thanjavur Neti Works. Obviously, people from South India already know about this thing. Thanjavur Neti Works from Tamil Nadu. Arambavur Wood Carvings from Tamil Nadu. See, these are the things which got related with their particular areas now, with their particular states now. When I talk about geographical indication, see, this, these are the things which get actually united with the names of their states. So that is the supreme thing that is actually known, that is actually the famous thing. When I move ahead and I talk about Telia Rumal cloth, Telia Rumal cloth is uh, going to be associated with Telangana from now on because they got the GI tag for the same. So Rai Kovar painting, so Rai Kovar painting, which is actually the painting of Jharkhand. So Jharkhand got the GI tag for the same. So GI tag, for to all these four things, let's move ahead. FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup to be held in February 2021. If you can recall, if you have been watching my videos, I actually disclosed something about it uh, way back also. The concern was that this FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup was expected to be held in 2020. That means the year 2020, as you can understand what is going on right now, how the situation is, it got postponed now. So in February 2021, it will take place, I was referring to FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup and India is going to host that. The next question is evacuation mission. You guys are aware that people are stranded in foreign countries. People, our people are there in other nations. So they have to be brought back because they don't have any job or any place to reside there. So as they are, as our government is planning to bring them back, under which mission they are doing it? They're calling it One Day Bharat Mission. This question can be asked in your exam, so be careful about it. I was saying under One Day Bharat Mission, those people who are stranded in foreign countries, they'll be brought back. The next question is, Iran to change currency from Riyal to, oh, to Toman. Now you can understand this question is very significant for us also because the currency of a country is getting changed. The parliament of Iran has actually passed the bill. So the currency from Riyal will be Toman now and one Toman equals to 10,000 Riyals and four zeros have been slashed by them. So one Toman equals to 10,000 Riyals. Don't forget that. The next question is, <clears throat> Chairman of Parliament's Public Accounts Committee, that is Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary. There, there's nothing new because this fellow is from uh, Indian National Congress. He is from Congress Party. Pu uh, Public Accounts Committee was actually, he was the Chairman of Public Accounts Committee earlier as well. He became the Chairman of PSC again 
and public accounts committee's chairman is the person from the opposition party so don't forget that adhir ranjan choudhury has become the chairman of public accounts committee once again the next question is state which provided maximum employment under mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme you heard about it it is manrega only so under manrega chatisgarh provided lot of work lot of work that means maximum employment to its people yes so chatisgarh topped that don't forget that that's how people remain employed and again engaged and they earn as well fdi limited defense manufacturing under automatic route fdi limit in defense manufacturing you need to understand that i am talking about foreign direct investment here earlier when you were investing through automatic route under automatic route when you are investing fdi limit in defense manufacturing was 49% just 49% now nirmala sitaraman has announced that that it has been increased to 74% so foreign direct investment limit in defense manufacturing under automatic route has been increased to 74% now the next question is let's talk about a few important days here i'll start with red cross day in a few islamic nations which is called red crescent day also it is observed on 8th may world thalassemia day see thalassemia is a disease so world thalassemia day is also observed on 8th may don't forget that i'm actually trying to speak slowly so that you can retain that well world hand hygiene day hygiene which is required very much required these days so world hand hygiene day is observed on 5th may and the theme which was kept for this year that was save lives clean your hands save lives clean your hands that that is the actually uh, theme kept for world hand hygiene day which is observed on 5th may 2020 year this year was declared as the year of international year of the nurse and the midwife the national day international year of the nurse and midwife the year 2020 has been declared as international year of the nurse and the midwife next question is world hypertension day we are actually continuing with the day dates only here we are going to talk about hypertension day which is observed on 17th may apart from that there is one more date day i'll be actually talking about it which is observed on 17th may only first let's talk about the theme of hypertension day world hypertension day the theme was measure your blood pressure control it live longer see that's the reality these days you can understand it very well we can relate with such a thing very well that measure your blood pressure control it control your blood pressure and that's how you can live longer relate that try to relate that that's how you'll be able to retain it well 17th may we observe world telecommunication and information society day also world telecommunication and information society day is observed on 17th may the theme which was kept that is a little difficult for you to retain but listen to it twice or thrice you'll be able to retain it connect 2030 ICTs that means information communication and technologies for the sustainable development goals connect 2030 ICTs for the sustainable development goals that was the theme for the 17th may's world telecommunication and information society day next question is country that named its street after our poet our famous poet and that is rabindranath tagore it has become tagore street so in israel one street will be called tagore street name of the nation is important because this nation this country israel named its street after rabindranath tagore don't forget that benjamin netanyahu as you guys are aware that he remains on india visit you are very well aware so we are saying that he got reappointed as the prime minister the prime the prime minister of israel he is from likud party see he is that important that he got re elected so his party becomes important for us that can be asked in your exam also 
Benjamin Netanyahu is from Likud party. I've written that. See, I've written that because of that reason, some people are unable to understand the diction also. I've written it because you can actually understand the spellings also. Benjamin Netanyahu from Likud party and Benny Gantz from Blue and White party. What is his, you know, uh, part here in it? That is actually a coalition government. That is actually an alliance. That is why Benjamin Netanyahu and Benny Gantz both are important for you guys. And he has become the Prime Minister of Israel once again. The next question is, One Nation, One Ration Card, it, it was to cover all the states by 2020 only. It couldn't cover it. That is why this actually thing got uh, postponed to March 2021. So One Nation, One Ration Card, to cover all states and union territories by, by March 2021. Here you need to understand, such a ministry is also associated where the union minister makes such announcements. So the union minister who made such an announcement, he was from Consumer Affairs, Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and his name is Ram Vilas Paswan. He is handling this ministry. Ram Vilas Paswan, Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. If you wish to establish some relation, please understand that we are talking about Russian, Russian here. As we are talking about Russian here, that is why I am saying Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution Minister becomes important for us. The next question is, they may ask you a question about this, that what sort of banks, what sort of banks are going to come under Sarfazi Act? We are referring to Sarfazi Act 2002 right now. Cooperative banks will come under Sarfazi Act 2002 from now on. Here the full form, the expanded form of Sarfazi can be asked from you guys. I'll start with the expanded form of it. Be focused. Sarfazi where S stands for securitization, A stands for and R stands for reconstruction of FA financial assets and ESI enforcement of security interest. I'll repeat that. Securitization and reconstruction of financial assets. Securitization and reconstruction of financial assets and enforcement of security interest. I'll move ahead with the next question. Hashtag we will win. That is basically a campaign launched by FIFA and that too for healthcare workers. Hashtag we will win. We will win. I'm sorry. We will win is the campaign for campaign for healthcare workers that was launched by FIFA. Don't forget that. Apart from that, they are actually adding those you know past and present football stars to be the part of this campaign. And they have actually added R, that means India's Baichung Bhutia. He is going to be the part of this campaign. So Indian footballer will be the part of hashtag we will campaign. He is Baichung Bhutia. Yes, let's move ahead with the next question. Goodwill Ambassador of United Nations Environment Program till 2022. That is Dia Mirza. Don't forget her name. I'm saying because they have decided it. They have made her the Goodwill Ambassador of UN's Environment Program till 2022. So she becomes even more relevant. Dia Mirza. First Indian state to provide free and cashless insurance to its people. And that is Maharashtra. Maharashtra has become the first Indian state to provide free and cashless insurance to its people. The next question is Pulitzer Award. Pulitzer Award 2020 for photography was actually given to Dar Yasin, Mukhtar Khan and Chani Anand. Don't forget their names because you can even make out that Pulitzer Prize is even very, very important. Pulitzer Award is very, very important for all of us. Let's move to the next question. Areas under India's territory claimed by Nepal. When I say Lipu Lake, you need to know where Lipu Lake is located. Lipu Lake is a Himalayan pass 
on the border between India's Uttarakhand state and Tibet region of China. So you need to understand it is between Uttarakhand, our Uttarakhand and Tibet region of China. It is between that, that area Lipu Lake, that area Lipu Lake, apart from that Kalapani, apart from that Limpia Dhura is claimed by Nepal, government is claimed by Nepal, Nepal. You need to listen to something else as well. This was in news. We have been listening about it that tensions over border with Nepal, that the tensions are growing there with Nepal also. What they are claiming? They are claiming Lipu Lake is their part, they are claiming Kalapani is their part, they are claiming Limpia Dura is their part. So these areas become important for you. The next question is Uj multi purpose project. See, Uj, uh, the name is basically of the river. This river is in Jammu and Kashmir. And if somebody asks you that Uj is a tributary of, Rai, uh, of Ravi River, you need to understand Uj is a river itself. But what sort of river is that? It is a tributary of small river, which is associated, which comes out which actually derives from Ravi river. Ravi is the main river and the small river which comes out comes out from it that is Uj. Because some people are not aware what tributaries are. That is why I am explaining the word tributary here. I am going to actually talk about the question once again. I was saying that Uj project is going to come in Jammu Kashmir on Uj river and Uj is a tributary of Ravi. Let's start the revision from here on. I need to start with the cyclone, super cyclone, which will hit West Bengal and Odisha's ports. That is cyclone Amphan. The next question was geographical indication time, where I was actually talking about the states which are associated with the things which got the GI tag. Tanjavur Native Works, Tamil Nadu, Arambavur Wood Carvings from Tamil Nadu, Telia Rumal Cross from Telangana, and Sohrai Kovar Painting from Jharkhand. FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup to be held in February next year, the next year 2021 and India is going to host that. It was expected to take place in 2020. It has been postponed. The next question was evacuation mission that is Vande Bharat mission where Indians will be brought back in, our, in their own country. That means they will be brought back in India. They are stranded in foreign countries. So Vande Bharat mission is the mission. Iran to change its currency from Riyal to Toman. Chairman of Parliament's Public Accounts Committee, Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary. Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary has become the chairman of PAC once again. And he is from Congress Party. State which provided maximum employment under Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme that is Chhattisgarh. FDI limit in defense manufacturing under automatic route raised from 49% to 74% now. World Hypertension Day. World Hypertension Day is observed on 17th May. World Telecommunication Day and Telecommunication and Information Society Day is observed on 17th May. Country that named its street after Rabindranath Tagore, that is Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu sworn in again as the Prime Minister of Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu is from Likud Party. One Nation, One Ration Card to cover all states and union territories by March 2021. Cooperative banks have come under Sarfezi Act 2020, 20, 2002. That means I was trying to say that, that cooperative banks have come under Sarfezi Act 2002. Hashtag will, we will campaign, we will win campaign launched by FIFA where our Vaichung Bhutia will be the part of this campaign. Goodwill Ambassador for United Nations Environment Program till 2022, Dia Mirza has become that ambassador. First Indian state to provide free and cashless insurance to its people, Maharashtra. Pulitzer Award for Photography 2020 was given to Dhar Yasin. Mukhtar Khan Chani Anand. Areas under India's territory claimed by Nepal, Lipu Lake, Kalapani, Limpia Dhura. Uj multi-purpose project located on the river Uj 
in Jammu and Kashmir and Uj is a tributary of River Ravi. Thank you so much.